Yes. If someone desire is not well stirred up, it's difficult to invite them to a meeting. So it's always about first stirring up a desire. That the Abiodun Alimi, you are saying no sound. Yes, sir. I think it's from your end. It's from your end. Once desires are stirred up, trust me, the interest to know more will be there. But when desires are not stirred up, the interest to know more will not be there. So why do I use highly motivational speak, uh, 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 pictures and inspirational pictures? If I there's someone I sent a message one day, I said I sent him a picture of uh, Warren Buffett where he said, if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you will walk till you die. Just a picture of that statement. Do you know what the person responded? The person said, that's a very true saying, but how can somebody do this? You see that? If, you're, if you just understood what I just said now, you've gotten it. I don't know if you understood what, I, what, what, what just happened to the person. I sent a message. I said, from Warren Buffett, if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you will surely walk till you die by Warren Buffett. And all of a sudden, you know, the person was like, that is very, very true. But the person now said, but how can someone do it? When somebody is asking you, how can I join? How can I do it? How can I have this? How can I have that? Do you know what has happened? God has just opened up the gateway of their heart to you to walk in. Simple. If you can just understand this, you will see the power of posting some well-crafted and some well-thought-of uh, uh, pictures and motivational quotes on your status and things. I'm telling you, just that picture alone, the man actually was connected to a reverend father. The man finally got a reverend father registered that registered him. Just a picture changed everything. If you don't learn to make money while you are asleep, you will walk till you die. That was what I sent. And the person was like, that is very true. But you know, how can this thing be? And I now walked in and said, what if there is a solution for it? What if there are organizations that can help you to institutionalize this? Because the truth is this, there are some organizations. For example, we have the pension scheme. What does the pension scheme do to you? They promise you they will take care of you even in your old age when you are no longer able to work. That's what they promise you. So in fact, I saw an advert on radio. I heard an advert on radio many years ago. I said, what is scam? It was a pension scheme company. I've forgotten the name. They were just talking, talking. They were doing an advert where uh, they showed a grandpa taking care of his granddaughter. So do you know what they were saying? They were saying that they will not just take care of you. They will not just take care of you. They will also take care of your grandchildren. Mommy Rushala on that one he said, please send the pics after the meeting. Very simple thing. You can go on Google. Just go on Google and do it now. Look at, this is Google, mama. All these things are very simple. Just go on Google. Type google.com. From your phone, I will show you. Very, very easy and simple to execute on. Very, very easy. Okay, so that you can see more. I'm showing you how to get more. Just watch this. I just type, if you don't learn to end while you sleep, you And then I, I need to finish the statement. You can come over to images, click on images. That's how we get images now. Do you think we are the one that sit down to design it? Look at it everywhere. Look at this one. I can decide to I can decide to open this one. Simple. You don't you don't need any manufacturer. And from your phone, you can now see it very well. You can see it there. Yeah. You can see this one. Okay. So it now depends on you, all right? What you want? 
the, the, the one you want to display. This is the picture. So you can see so many designs of it. But I'll post it anyway because you asked. All right. So that is how it is. So a simple, a simple statement works like this. If you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Simple. And it changed everything. That is prospecting. This thing alone can be prospecting on its own. You can now add something about RDI NGO. Yes. Being an entrepreneur is the easiest route and the sharpest route is the shortest route to building lasting wealth. Let RDI NGO business support project assist you in being an established entrepreneur, even while you keep your current job. That's all. What again do you need? I'm telling you, what again do you need? You can put up on that word saying, do you have a system that pays you, that keeps paying you even when you are retired? Don't trust on pensions. Pensions has failed many for years. Let RDI AGO help you get established in businesses that pays you daily while you keep your job. Simple. You don't need much. You don't need much. You see that? You don't need much. You, you, you say things that will steer up somebody's, I want, to, I want to make all of us here as an, a recruiting machine. But it all starts with what being a prospecting guru. Once you understand the psychology of humans that they are not interested in knowing what they are not interested in, what does not steer up a hunger in them. Someone is not interested in eating food if he's not hungry for food. But many at times, I've seen people, they are hungry for something, but they don't even know what they are hungry for. They will just be misbehaving. Until you tell them, this is your problem, really. This is your problem. Just fix it. You need more. There are some people that think that saving more money is going to help them to become financially independent. That's not true. Some people tell you, live below your means. Live below your means. Once you can live below your means, you're going to get wealthy. <laughs> that statement on its own is a lie. That's the statement that have glorified a lot of civil servants. You know, they say that civil servants, they know how to manage and manage and manage. How can you keep managing their life where your life expenses is increasing geometrically and your salary is increasing arithmetically? No matter how you try to squeeze your life inside the mode of that salary, it will never be enough. Let the truth be told. It's a lie. But when you say things like, you can live below your means, save, and invest your money, then that is true. But just by saying, telling people when you can live below your means, you'll be wealthy, it is a lie. It's not true. It's not really that true. You can live above your means, but it depends on what you're doing with the excess money. I can borrow money and put into marketing. I can borrow money and put into advertising. I can borrow money and put into expanding my business. I can do it. Yes. Don't, 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 don't be limited by dogmas. Seriously. Don't be limited by dogmas. Don't be limited by dogma. So I want to make us prospecting guru. Prospecting guru. You can define, you can use this one again. You know, how many of you have seen this picture I put up one day? Say, um, uh, uh, a system is what saves you stress, energy, and time. You can put it up. System. Save yourself. Uh, is it cease, save yourself stress, right? All right. Time, energy, and money. Let me know whether it will appear. That's what we call it. Call it what? A system. Okay? Done for you, system. Save yourself. Now watch. You can display this. This is just prospecting on its own at its core. Does your current economic system save you stress, time, energy, 
and money? Or does he keep taking more from you? Why he pays you less and your expenses increases more? I'm trying to give you the mindset of a someone that is a that, that is a prospecting guru. Realistic Dreams Initiative can really help you in creating business systems on your spare time that can save you stress, time, energy, money, and help you prepare for your retirement and help you prepare for the future. What am I doing? I'm making you a prospecting guru. All this works. When you see this, what do you do with it? Don't just post it. And so we ask you a question like, this area you've been talking about, what are they really into? Once that question comes up, you've won the heart. Their heart is won. In fact, more than 99% of the times, their heart is won. Stop trying to bank into and batch into people's lives. Stop it. It doesn't work. I'm trying to address prospecting. It doesn't work. Stop batching into people's lives. That's the reason why you get someone recruiting to the business. You keep forcing and forcing and forcing and forcing the person to attend the meeting. Because there was no hunger. No hunger was there. No hunger there to learn and improve and get better. No hunger. So you keep pushing because you push the person, you corner the person into saying yes. You can corner somebody into saying yes. You can't corner them to stay. It is only a man's hunger that keeps them to learn and to improve and grow. So what I'm doing is how to steer up that hunger. Once that hunger is stirred up, the person will, when the person starts the business and they want to go back, do you know one thing? That emotion that was stirred up in the beginning that made them say yes, will keep them focused and keep them to keep moving on. So we keep saying this in our uh, initial franchises orientation. When you don't know your why, you will be able to survive your challenging phase. When you don't know your why, I get to me. What does it mean to stir up a hunger? To give a why to somebody. That's why you need to stir up a hunger. Are you hearing me? Is to give a why to someone. Why should I get wealthy? Why should I think about my retirement? Why should I think about the future? Why should I think about residual income? Do you know what? Come on, do you know the beautiful thing about residual income? It's so, so beautiful, so, so sweet about residual income. If you test it, you don't want to leave it again. Kai, I can't do a business now that can pay me as I, can, I commit more of my life to things that pays me residually more than just, I do investment a lot. I'm into agro investment. I do investment very, very well. Landed properties, I do. But there's nothing like residual income. Oh. <laughs> it is sweet. You know what it means? You bought some shares and they are paying you dividends and the share price is increasing. Oh my God, that's what we call income generating assets. Oh my God. <laughs> Not all those pump and dump shares. I commit my, why do I commit everything I've got into this business? Residual income is very, I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. <laughs> Some of you will not understand this. If you say this is doing it on my body, eh? If you say this is doing me, let me just show you something. Let me log into my account. I'm telling you, people don't understand how this thing, how my body do. That's why I wake up every morning. I am fired up. Let me show you something. This is my account. This month of February alone, no, I never even start. 417,000. You know, when we say things like this, some of you will think that uh, it's 417,000. Let me show you something. Uh, there's one account like that. Let me see. I think it should be the second account. Woke up this morning. My money was 370 something thousand. And I woke up this morning. It's now 400 and something thousand. When I calculated the money, that was almost 40 something thousand. I said, what a life. What a life. What a life. Oh my God. What a life. When you test it, you don't want to go back. That is it. It's so sweet. It's so, so sweet. That's why I'm committed. I have a deep understanding that wealth is residual income. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When you have built systems, when you have built business systems that can generate for you, you build a team in Lagos. You build a team in a, in a Loring Quara State. You build a team in Ibadan. Think like that. Think 
that's how to think about your business. You, you, you build a team in Abuja. You build a team in Lagos. You are targeting Lagos. Now you build a team in this part of Lagos. You go here. They have, you have you built leaders, trained leaders that can take responsibility. You build here, you build here, you build here, you build here, you build, here, you, build you build about 10 different teams. Even if it takes you five years to seven years, you are able to build five teams. Those five teams can be giving you not less than one million naira every single month. Can you imagine that? This one is having fun making money. I'm living my life, empowering you, training you, and at the same time making money. What better life to live than that? That's how I think. That's how I think. I'm, I'm trying to coach you to become a prospecting guru. When you understand prospecting, trust me, you find that that is the easiest thing to do. That's the easiest thing to do. When you see someone suffering, don't just start talking about the business. No, look at the area of the person suffering and see how to channel the invitation, the, the, the invitation for the discussion. Just think about the prospect. Who are you prospecting to? Just Don't just batch into people. Don't batch into people. Don't think, oh, our script can convince anybody. No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. The script is for inviting. The script is for inviting. You need to learn to steer up. So there is one man I sent this video. Let me play this video for us. Okay, but before then, okay, okay, that's my account. I wanted to show you something. As in, oh my God. You, 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 you know, when I said this, like you just needed to just understand. Okay, that's, okay, the second account. I want you to see, see. For, don't worry, by the end of the month now, when I wipe all the money here, I will show you that I've wiped all the money. I will, I will clear them. And you will see how it will accumulate again. How did it happen? Because I focused for past seven years. I built a team here. I built a team there. I built a... Most of you that are here came because of my online advert that I focused only at Lagos and Abuja, then Portacot. I pumped in thousands, hundreds of thousands of Naira. Yeah. Maybe some of you wouldn't know. I pumped in hundreds of thousands of Naira. That's what I pumped in into adverts. What's today's date? 11th. Can you see this? From the 10th, 6 5, 6 5. Who are the ones that did this registration? I, Mr. Nosso does not know. Mr. Nosso does not know. All I knew is that I woke up in the morning and I saw money in my account. Simple. I saw money in my account. How did the money appear there? I've been able to raise people, mentor them, teach them how to take responsibility. Then the system takes care of everything. When you understand our business system and processes, use it and build things that are very, very strong. You will sit back and you enjoy. So right now I'm in a place where even though I'm building new things, I am at the same time mentoring people, coaching people, I may not be able to go on the streets directly now and share flyer. One, 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 one. I may not really have the time. But guess what? In fact, let's start. Why would I have the time? Because I have a lot of people I am mentoring now that keeps me online. But at the same time, I wouldn't allow myself to get into what we call the management trap. What's management trap? People that feel that they've arrived, they can no longer prospect. I have to still think, how can I still prospect? So you know what? I hire people that share questionnaires for me. I hire, I pay them. If you don't have the money, go do it. There was a time I was the one working from organization to organization, submitting letters of approval for them to give me an opportunity. And that letter is a prospecting letter. Do you know what it means to come into an organization and maybe a school, a primary school, or a college, and you are able to drop in, you know, to the rector a well-scripted information that reveals the situation of the economy of the lecturers and everybody in that institution, the current economy, and how the future economy of everybody in that institution will look like. And because of, and you project also the lifestyle of people that have retired from that institution, how it hasn't been very beautiful, and what your organization has to offer to train them to bring to their awareness the importance of taking responsibility and to give them probable 
solutions to these challenges. Do you know what it means? There are some people, this is what they are waiting for to hear. I did it myself. I will submit letters to organizations and they will in college of education, secondary schools, banks, police, road safety, civil defense, prison uh, uh, command offices. I've gone to all of them. I may not have gone to all of them in, in the same states, but there is no ministry now you will call. Ministry of Agri, Ministry of Finance, I've gone to virtually all ministries. I've gone to churches. They will bring me, I will not forget the day I went to about three Catholic churches in Gobe State. If most in anything, talk to the priest. The priest says, yes, I said, look at this. This is not all those Ponzi scheme. Explain it out. This is what it is. I'm going to mentor you. I've had an online presentation with a group of priests. There were more than 50 in a place in Benin through Zoom. I was on Zoom. The person that was there, carry projector, was projecting them. So everything I was saying was applying a projector to a large speaker. And I was having a presentation to a group of people through Zoom. You could have not seen anything. This is called prosperity. When you are out to build your business, nothing stops you. But it starts with a deep understanding on the processes. That's why I took out time yesterday. I had some challenges uploading the video, and I'm going to upload, uh, it, but it was not uploaded. So I'm going to send it across to Ross. Yesterday's meeting, I took out time to explain our business building processes. It starts with what you start with what prospecting, create that hunger. Know fully well that people are hungry for something. When you understand it, then it positions you on how to deliver or prefer a solution to their problem. Stop batching into people's lives. That is why the root, the foundation or building network marketing is creating relationship, relationship. Build a relationship with people. I'm sure not clearly how your business can be great. I still believe that if all of us here and anybody that joins this business can commit to sponsoring two people every month, in one year you become a millionaire. If people can understand that recruiting two people in a month can be very easy, Trust me, everybody that joins this business will become a millionaire because all they need to do is to go back to their relationships, work on a little more on it, and build from there. I'm telling you, recruiting two persons in a month is not a difficult task when you understand what to do. Creating that hunger is one of the most powerful things that can happen to you. Now listen, that hunger can be created by someone watching a video. This is a video I played for someone. Let me show you. This is a video I played for someone. Where is the game? Many of you must have seen this video. The, the, the rise of entrepreneurs. Many of you must have seen the video. I played this video for someone. Just this. What you see. The world is changing faster than ever. What used to take decades is now taking years or even months. What you see right now is the illusion that people have had for many decades about the workplace being this secure place to, to work the rest of your life. For the first time in the history of our nation, our children will not do as well as us. We've seen our friends get laid off. We've been laid off. We've had our pay. Do you know what this video does? This video steers up and hunger in people to become entrepreneurs. Yes, there is a short version of it, about three minutes, I think three minutes or two, two minutes, and there's a long version of it that I have, of 13 minutes that I have, where the man made an invitation on being mentored as an entrepreneur using network marketing system. Yeah. It can be anything. It can be those posts that I made. When you understand the concept of prospecting, you can become creative. You no longer sit down. I get what I'm saying. That's when you start becoming a leader that drives change. When you understand the concept behind a thing, you won't, wait that, you won't be waiting for a script anymore. Then you can create your own script in your own language. That is where I'm getting all of us to be. Then you can create a script that is suitable for a specific kind of person. When, that's when you become a leader that drives change. You can't, you can't drive change without proper understanding. You can't drive change in your prospecting without proper understanding of the psychology behind prospecting. Psychology behind prospecting is about creating what? An attention, stirring up a hunger and interest. 
steer it up. Don't think what you have to say is important to the person you are talking to. Think two times. This thing I want to tell the person now, can you steer up a hunger? If the answer is no, you feel like, okay, do you know there are some rich men I've met? You can't be telling them to do one account. There are some men I met. The only thing they want to hear is how they can be, how they can empower other people. So my business gives them the platform to empower other persons. So I say, I tell them things like, you can start with 15 accounts, pay for seven accounts, then empower each person. Put those, let those eight people be involved in our mentorship room. Let me mentor them on your behalf. Sir, you can touch people's lives through our business platform. And at the same time, be able to generate enough funds to empower many other persons. Person will be like, what are you talking about? I say, yes. Our business system actually allows you to empower others. And the beautiful thing is that with partnership with Realistic Dreams Initiative, we take over what? The mentorship. So you don't need to do the mentoring. We're going to mentor them. We, I know you're a busy person. What we needed to do is just to play your fatherly role of you know, sometimes connecting to them and ensuring that they are always following through with the system. Can you explain more to me? So look at our business system here. It's about sharing information. These are the products. This information gives you an opportunity to combat your personal consumables into assets. So when you pay for 15 accounts, you're going to have received products worth more than whatever you pay. That's set use it. But number one, sir, you're going to have seven accounts open for you. Then you can select eight serious-minded persons. Maybe you can pick them from your church. You can pick them from your village. You can pick, let it be that they are interested in building a business. Then enroll them into the RDI mentorship program. I'm going to take up from there. All we needed to do, because you know they respect you, sir, is to play a faladi role. What is a faladi role? Reach out to them. I hope you are following through with the RDI project. I hope you are attending the millionaire school. Play your faladi role, sir. 15 accounts, 31 accounts. You register 15, 16 for other people. You can do 15 accounts, seven for you. The eight persons that you'll be bringing in, we build them under the seven accounts. The last four accounts will be two, 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 two. And as they are generating more money, sir, that more money they are generating, you can use it to do what? To support them in whatever they need even to build the business more. And as they build the business more for themselves, sir, you generate even more funds to empower other people. How many of you have thought of what I said now? How many of you have, how many of you see what I'm saying now as a wonderful opportunity to reach out to a great man? Let me see with your hand. There are people that have the money and what they are looking for is who they empower. It is, it is, it is unwise to approach such men with one on the left and one on the right is 7,000 naira. Such men, what attracts them? If you want to talk about money, they'll be talking about 15 accounts, how much they can make with 15 accounts every day, how much they can make with 20 account, with uh, 31 accounts every day. If you are talking to them about making 7,000 from one account, it's as if it is a business for poor man. Understanding your prospect is key to prospecting and how you bring them into the business. There are some of you, the people you brought into this business that has one account, they can as well do up to 30 accounts. But you presented, the, some of them even now paid for 30 accounts or one account just to get you to leave them because they never saw the need. I won't forget a man that I met. He was saying also, I, I, I like this, your business. I don't understand you. How, how much can somebody make potentially in a day? I told him, sir, actually can make potentially over 630,000 naira and as much as 1.47 million naira in a month, in a day, sir. Say so what? I said, yes, sir. You can make as much as 1.47. And they asked me, how much are you making right now? So I laugh and say, sir, it doesn't really matter how much I'm making. But someone like you, you know, you are much more than me. You are higher than me. I'll rub off on their ego. You can, the first, the very first 31 account I signed up in this business. That's how I did it. Somebody paid for 31 account, 1 point something million. Damn. Are you surprised? You've not seen anything. 1 point something million naira cash down. It's a one account, a human being paid for it. 15 accounts, 20 accounts. That's how I did it. You don't come to them and be talking cheap. That's an Some of you, you have hanging points. 300 people on the left, 500 on the right, 500 people on the, on the left. And you are approaching people that are supposed to be doing 50 accounts. 
31 accounts, 15 accounts, you're approaching them with the mentality of one, one account. And guess what? A lot of people do prospecting reflecting their personality. Your prospecting is not supposed to be a reflection of your personality at all times. So you see a student, anytime most students want to prospect, they will go to a fellow student to prospect. That's a wrong mentality. You need to grow beyond it. Package yourself. Package yourself. We have the tools. Get letters. You have an organization area in you that is solely behind you, sir. Get letters. Submit it. You can set up a Zoom presentation, book an appointment with me, and I'll be on Zoom and I'll speak to them. I will teach you how to do the setup. Put the projector there. Tell me the time. Connect your laptop to the projector. Let it be projecting. The speaker of your laptop, connect it to a sound system, a little sound system, so that the voice, the, the, the audio can be loud. Put me on the projector. Let me talk to them. You have all the tools. You can play the recorded video with them there. Say, so this is actually a message from our regional director concerning the business project and then the conference we are here for. And you play the recorded video. After you are done talking to them, you play the recorded video to them. You have the tools. All you need to do is just to step up. Step up. Step up. So I think I have dealt with prospecting a lot. If there is nothing I want to do, I want to drive us to become crazy with prospecting because that is the core. Once the hunger is stirred up, the higher the hunger, the higher the accounts you will have. The higher the hunger, the higher the accounts you will have. When you are done with, and guess what again, I found out something that is very powerful. When people have, when people's hunger is very, very high, the level at which, the speed at which they consume the business presentation will be very high. And that will influence how fast they will say yes to your opportunity. When people feel you pressure them into listening to a recorded video, in the, not really pressuring in, when they feel I'm doing this thing for you, let me just do, let me just do it. They can easily tell you I am not interested. Yeah, they can easily tell you that. So, I want us to really, really think about that heavily. Listen to what I just thought today. Listen to my training yesterday. I'm going to upload the two videos. Listen to them over and over again. Over and over again. Listen to it. Gain wisdom from it. Start applying it. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your uncles. Experiment with them. Are you hearing me? All right. Now, there is a script of... Um, um, uh, I'm going to give us that we can use on people that knows us so, so well. Okay, so I'm saying, how do we get the letter and sample of questionnaire? Okay, I'm going to put it up and then I'm going to send it to Ross. I'll pull it up and I'll send it to Ross, okay? Um, I'm not at the office now. I just, I have the printed copy, but I'm going to check it on my system. The questionnaire, I will check it on my system. I think I have a sample of something like that and I will send it to Ross and the sample of the letter, I will also send to Ross today. In fact, I won't get out of this seat until I do it. So between now and 11, get about, you're going to get it. Apply your heart to it, and you will see yourself seeing people joining you in the business. Mommy Olushola, let me talk a little bit about closing. I'm going to say this about closing. When you are closing, if you want to close like a pro, a pro... I want to say this. This is something. If, if if I'm if I'm asked, what is my my number one my number one skill? I'm on my strategy in terms of closing. Listen, closing actually is as a professional is making an offer or an invitation to be supported or to be helped. That's closing. I'm making you an offer. Either you take it or you leave it. You know the, what to gain taking it. Closing as a pro is making an offer. I'm making you a mastermind mentorship offer. I'm making you an offer to be mentored by our director. I'm making you an offer to be mentored by the top leaders. I'm making you an offer to have our organization support you. Okay? That is what it should be. It should be. I'm making you an offer. So when you say you want to close on people, what offer are you making? 
What offer are you making? Mama Agnes, you are raising your hand. You have something to say? Please go ahead quickly. Well done, sir. Yeah. Uh, about the letter. Mm. Before you send it, please edit uh, it and let Lagos office appear instead of Benin. Okay. I because mean, the one that was sent to us, the like, one they sent to us was Benin. If so I, finish, if I, I had to correct it to put a low office. Yeah, Mama, if I finish editing it to Benin, to Lagos, someone that is in Benin will ask me to also edit it for Benin. Someone in Abuja will ask me to edit it to Abuja. So what I expect us to do is this. Yeah, we, it's, it's Benin that is there. Now, what I expect us to do. The one we will say, what the I, way you will say you can leave, you can leave it vacant, sir. So that we can now use uh, our black pen to write the office. What about that? Okay. Or because you are because you are sending in a typed letter. Okay. Because what you, the letter you mm. are sending is a mm. typed letter. You could just snap the letter head. Mm. Okay. What you can do is to snap the letter head. When you snap mm -hmm. the letter head. Mm -hmm then the place where they are typing it, they can do those corrections for you. What they just need is the logo of the, uh, the letterhead and then the... Uh, the and, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what they really need. With it as an example, letterhead. All right? Then you can now change the address. And then the letter I'll be sending, that will be just a sample letter that someone can just edit down to their own address and you know to their own contacts. Because it's not good to send in a letter and you go and put my number. You don't even know whether I'm busy or whether I'm expecting anything. You're supposed to put your own phone number inside the letter, mm. okay? So that when the office yes. wants to get back to you, they know how to get back to you. Is that okay? It's okay, sir. Thank All you. Right. All right. Okay. So when you're closing, closing is about making an offer. So what offer are you making? Don't say um, things like you can register now. No, 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 no. What offer are you making the person? What promise are you making the person? You must make an offer. That is what drives people to pay. The offer you are making. Sachochi sent me a question yesterday. Let me read out. Let me read it out. And I want, to, I want you to read that. I want to read out the response I gave to him. In the month that was, <laughs> I don't even know the time I gave him that response. It should be very, very, it should be late at night, too. It should be late at night. Let me see. Okay, all right. So he said, How okay? So someone asked him how much to register with, or it's or it has categories. So look at my response. I said, Wow, I said it costs 80,000 now to activate one profit center. See my language, I'm not going to call it account, I like calling it profit center. But you have, well now I said, but you have the privilege to secure one slot for 50,000 Naira within three days, either by paying full or by installments. But your subsequent account will be 80,000 each. <laughs> and I said, consider going for three accounts, which is best. At least now you have a huge discount on your first account. You make an offer. Now, why did I answer this short? Because the person is asking of what, how much. If, if, if I have more time, then I cannot bring in, or also have an opening. Our masterminds, they are ready to also mentor the first set of persons, the first 50 persons for this month, or the first 30 persons. Just bring up something that has to do with mentorship, which you know that we are delivering. I can come up now and tell you, see, I'm, I have an opening now to mentor only 10 persons in this month of February. I'm, I have an opening. Mentor 10 persons. Accept 10 persons this month of February and mentor them for eight months or for six months to become millionaires. Are you in or are you out? That's an offer. Our masterminds are open to mentor people now. In fact, they are very committed to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. That's an offer. Make an offer. Make an offer. Don't just tell people um, the price is uh, 80,000 Naira, but you can have your first account. No, 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 no. Now you have the privilege. You see that? That's an offer. You have a privilege. So secure it now. That is it. If, if, if you don't make an offer, people will just relax. Make an offer that has a deadline. Make an offer that has a deadline. 
He made it. And, and if the person doesn't have the money now, the person will tell Mr. Churchill something like, okay, please, I don't have the complete 50000 now to secure this um, on a discount. Tell me, what do I need to do? Um, um, how much like, is the deposit, please? How much? Do you see what I do? That, that's what I've stared up in the person. The person is now trying to find out more. So if someone knows that he's paid, he can pay in installments and he has 20,000 in his account. And you tell the person, um, you can actually pay 50, you can actually, the first account is 50,000 naira and you can also pay in installments. Do you know what the person will do? The person will, 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 will that 20,000 naira in his account, he will never see it as anything. He will make plans with 20,000 naira and never bring in your business into consideration. But when he has, when he hears that within three days, he will lose the offer. Come on, pay now. Whatever you need to do, push it in. I'm going to say this and say it loud and clear. Listen to me. If you have stayed long enough in M Global, you must have noticed that everything I say about the company when it comes to pricing has always happened. Watch me. Those of you that have been here longer than others, like Sachochil, Mama Agnes, you will agree with me, Mama Keinde, on this. Watch and listen to what I'm saying now. Watch out for the company. Very soon, the 50,000 Naira account will go off. It will migrate out. I'm telling you on time. Very, very soon. <laughs> How many of you feel same? How many of you feel same? When that happens, watch what's going to happen. They may work on the payout, improve on the payout, but the 50,000 Naira entry, they will take it off. So let's use it now. So, mommy, mommy Lushola, closing is making an offer. What offer are you making? To people and when you want to make an offer watch the person you are speaking to are you getting me what is his greatest fear let your offer be such that will address people's fears and concerns mama did you hear that mama did you hear that yes i do I'm so following. let me give you a typical example yes i do let me give you a typical example maybe someone's fear is about not having time at all <laughs> then the offer you make should be to address not having enough time. My dear, you can actually do this on a part-time. Our mentors, they actually have an platform, an opportunity for you to be mentored on a part-time. Obviously, it's a business. Thank God I know who you are. I know you are someone very, very serious. Approve on the person. I know you are someone very serious on whatever you do. That's the reason why this business project is best designed for someone like you. And guess what? Today, you have an opportunity to have what we call a mastermind slot. And our masterminds, they mentor people that are so, so busy and people that are also full-time into it. So it's a great opportunity. And now there's an opening for them to do what? To mentor you. Let's do it now. You see that? So make an offer that addresses people's concern. So it puts you in a place, you must understand our business is about people. People are not fools. People are not robots. They are human beings. So they have needs and concern. Once you're able to roll away those needs and then appease them and see how possible things can be for them, they will be flocking to you. People want someone that will show them concern, someone that will show them love, someone that can be there for them. Show them that. Make them an offer to be there in their greatest challenge, in their greatest fears, and you will see them joining you immediately. But while making the offer, put a deadline. Put a deadline. Persuade them using the deadline and you'll see them coming back to you. All right. Thank you so much for being the millionaire school today. I really appreciate you. How many of you got something this morning? I think we've been really been dealing with our business as into the core. And, and I think what we are doing today, you know, for the, this week now, it has always been about producing personal results in our business. If you learned something beautiful today, let me see you with your hand. Mommy Adona, can I see you? Can I, can I hear you talk? What is this specifically that you learned today? Mommy Adona, yeah? Oh, Gabi, you know, I'm the one that asked that question for prospecting. At least I gained much. Okay. So the job is done. Thank the job you, is sir. done, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. That's beautiful. Thank you, that's, sir. That's beautiful. All right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You learned something else again today. Let me see you wave your hand. You learned something else again today. Let me see you wave your hand. Quickly. Quickly, 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 okay? All right, in the absence of no one, okay, mommy, mommy, what did you learn? 
What did you learn quickly? Let me hear from you so that we can close the meeting. Yes. The closing. Yes. The closing and about um, directing the closing towards their challenges and their fears. Exactly. Removing exactly. their fears. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is it. That is the secret to closing. Yes. If I tell people, it's about running away obstacles. Handling of objections and closing is like, I've cleared everything. I've cleared everything. Oh, yeah. Let's go now. You have no reason. They have no reason. If I, when I'm talking to people, I'm, I'm, at the end of the day, I have it in my mind that they have no reason to say no. You know why? Because in my mind, I've tried as much as I can to understand their fears, their challenges, their possible objections, and clear and roll them away. God bless you for being here today in our millionaire school. Now, you can see clearly how we are becoming leaders that drive change. I want you to take note of people that are here. When it starts happening, don't say, ha, they are lucky. They are not lucky. Our millionaire school is where men are made. Don't forget, we're going to have a business meeting tonight at 7.30 p.m. Let's start making our invitations. It's very, very important. All right. So put your hand on your chest and let's say after me, I'm becoming a great leader that drives change. I'm a great leader that drives the change. All right. Please, can we say it again as if you need I'm becoming a great leader that drives change. I'm becoming a I'm becoming a great leader. God bless you all. Love you. All. See you 7:30 p.m. Let's make sure we connect early. God bless you. Do you have a lovely day? Bye bye.